Hey friends and welcome back to another video from Facebook Forum Shop. Today we're going to be studying tribal lines. I'm your artist Rip Lily and with this video we're going to do a basic tribal design that you can implement in your festivals that are coming up. So the most important part of tribal filigree or line work is how well you load your brush. That's the most important part. So what I do is bring the water with my brush to my face paint. I never spray my paints. So here I'm trying to grab a generous amount and create like a little pool. So here I'm going to swirl my brush around and I want you to pay attention to how I I'm going to twist and pull my brush to get a sharp point. Watch this. Now I do this every single time I'm using a round brush and you can see how sharp that tip is. It's very, very important. Alrighty, so we're going to start out with our first tribal line. It's going to be a teardrop. So we got to make sure we know where our starting point is and where our end point is. All right, so we'll press down and pull up and release. Now, once I've done that, you can see with my brush that it's created a flat edge. So I'm going to use that flat edge to reverse, come back and sharpen up that fuzzy point of my tribal line. <clears throat> and here I am using a Laurel Cornell round number three. Now, if you don't feel comfortable going in reverse on the tribal line, uh, feel free to reload your brush and uh, do the teardrop over again until you get that sharp point. Now, I'm going to reload and at the end of our tribal line here, we're going to create a flat edge for it. Alrighty, now we're going to do another one right next to it. Stamp it down, pull up, and release. I'm going to twist my brush. Come back on reverse to sharpen it up. Now this is close, and this is far, so I'm going to just um, make it even here. And flatten out the other edge. See, I'm just drawing with my paintbrush and then painting it in, filling it in. Reload. Now this next line, um, I'm gonna go out to the right. There are various endless combinations you can do with your tribal lines. It's just a matter of practice. Once you practice it, then you'll know what looks good. Now, thankfully, Face Paint Forum Shop has an assortment of uh, practice boards, so be sure to visit us and check those out. We do have sales sometimes, so make sure you uh, follow us on Facebook and other social media. Alrighty, so the reason I made this third tribal line and I pointed it down is because I'm gonna stay within that C shape, that direction. So here in this area, you can do so many different things, uh, but I'm going to stay within this C shape, this direction. I don't think I want to go as low as the mouth. Um, I would probably only go right under the nose is probably the furthest I would go. All right, so here we're going to do another teardrop. Imagine like a mirror. I'm going to reverse and sharpen it up and here create that flat edge. I'm going to just get it a little bit closer to the top design there. 
going to reload and now I'm going to show you what's called a blade in the world of tribal it's uh, pretty simple so here I'm gonna go I'm gonna follow the lines I've already done with this blade so here I'm gonna come up the same direction as the tribal lines on top and the other end is gonna go parallel to the other line I just did this ends gonna be round and that's why they call it the blade it looks just like a blade would like an axe sort of so as you can see I'm actually drawing with my paintbrush I'm drawing out the shape and painting it in I don't see anything wrong with that if it makes it easier for you definitely so now this tribal design right here that we've got you can stop right here and be done uh, but I want to show you that you can build off of it so I'm going to do another one this is going to be a teardrop but I'm going to stay with the C flow now flow means you're going in the same direction you don't want your tribal to go every which way it's not going to look okay all right so i'm going the same direction and it's close to the blade but not touching i'm going to square off this end there we go fill it in now i'm going to do one more for you this is going to be a blade but it's going to go on the top part And I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to follow the flow of the other lines I've done. The same direction as the other lines that I've done. Now again, um, this is strictly for beginners. If you want to get away from using stencils and you really want to be creative and, you know, make every tribal look a little different. Um, this is just two simple designs that you can make several combinations with. There we go, you can see I just drew the blade out and now I'm just gonna paint it in. And I wanna show you, um, right here I got a little close. Just be mindful, make sure your tribal lines do not touch. They can be close, just not touching. So now that I've washed off my round number three, I'm going to bring some water over here to Superstar Brilliant Blue. Um, it's a really gorgeous color. You can also use teal or lime green. What we're going to do is create a shine on this tribal. And we can do that because the, des the design is already dry. So I'm going to create a creamy consistency like if I was going to do a dot. So that's what I'm um, looking for here. You can take a look at that brush, how I've loaded it. Alrighty. And so when I do this shine on the job, um, people are always, it's like that wow factor and they give better tips. <laughs> so hopefully this works for you too. Now here, as you can see, um, I've created a teardrop. Teardrop, another one. Another teardrop. And I'm only going to put teardrops in the thickest part of this design. I'm not going to try to fill the entire line. Um, and I'm also reloading after every time I've put a shine down. That way it doesn't mix with the black. I want it to stand out. And reload. And do it again. And reload. And do it again. This way, my blue stays brilliant. <laughs> Alrighty, and you're done with your design here. So, be sure to practice this on your practice board. Um, try different variations. And I wanted to show you here just an extra tip if it helps. I always take a rag like this on the job, and I wash my brush, I rinse my brush, this is how I dry my every single round brush. I twist and I pull towards me. 
twist and pull towards me. And this is how I keep my round brushes really, really sharp because I need them ready to go when I want to do filigree swirls, tribal, and this keep, then they dry sharp and they're ready to go for me when I need them. Alrighty, you guys, so this is the finished piece. Um, this is what it looks like dry. And you can see the blue, right? It's really bright. Here's another version. So I want to let you know that there are different combinations you can come up with. So thank you guys so much for learning today. And uh, be sure to follow us for more awesome, fun tutorials.